I'm celebrating an old high school flame by bringing these two together. Today I'm making the Caprese Maria. He was the bartender, equal part chef, juggler, magician. No way! This is Dean Cernil's on YouTube. Today's drink is the Caprese Maria. But this one is actually inspired by the Caprese salad. So let me show you what I've done here. I am going to take a little bit of rosemary and drop it right in there and some sage as well. I'm just going to drop a couple of pieces of sage and a pinch of bacon salt. Just a pinch of bacon salt and I'm going to press these down. I'm going to press these down to try to get the, uh, the flavors activated and some of the oils out of the herbs. Adding uh, one and a half ounces of Terramana tequila. I've chosen the aged tequila today because I want a little bit more uh, of the smoking notes, some of the aged flavors from the tequila, bringing that in. And just a quarter ounce, whoops, that's too much, of balsamic vinegar. All right. Little squirt of lemon juice and a dash of Angostura. This one's a pretty complex cocktail, I suppose. And our Bloody Maria mix, or Bloody Mary mix, if you will. Master mixes, loaded Bloody Mary. Check them out on YouTube. There's all kinds of great cocktails at Master of Mixes. And here we go. Bringing this forward. Where's my spoon? Here it is. Boop. <laughs> Just going to stir this up. Make sure those ingredients get stirred together nice. Now I'll take this drink and just pour it over top of fresh ice. There we go. I want to hold back those bits of the herbs, the fresh herbs that I stirred up there. And here comes the namesake of the cocktail, the Caprese. Here are two baby bell cheese, or two pieces of baby bell cheese, and one uh, Roma tomato sliced up. That's a bacon rim, uh, some sage, and, uh, and some rosemary right there. So, so here we have the Caprese Maria.